gonna be an all once and for all type of thing it's not gonna be a yo-yoing thing of course by the grace of god let's see how she likes it so look it's so hot it's so hot be careful okay good morning everyone good morning i'm here in the kitchen and today i'm excited for this video if you're new i'm on a weight loss journey and i told myself that i want to do one video a week dedicated to my weight loss journey just like what i eat in a day how i'm doing and all that stuff so today is the end of week one we are now entering on week two the first week was fairly interesting i started working out fully six times a week i worked out monday to saturday today is monday and i'm doing well as far as my weight i didn't check my weight today but um what is that in my eye but i'm feeling good like i'm not sore anymore that six days went well and today i'm gonna be going on the journey to share with you what i eat in a day and this is today in the background my husband made the kids breakfast and here he is just like cleaning up but i'm gonna be sharing are you gonna be making me breakfast yes <laughs> Yeah, he's already making. He's making me. It's almost done. Okay, it's almost done. So should I put eggs? I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be showing you what I eat in a day. Um, because I eat different things every single day. I'm gonna try to make this kind of videos every week and hopefully share with you here and there my recipes and all that stuff. So today, here is my breakfast. It's sweet potatoes and some carrots. And I have a question for you, you guys. Please, someone tell me, how do you know which, 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 which sweet potatoes are white inside or which ones are orange? I love the ones that are white inside because they taste more like potatoes to me. The ones that are orange inside taste more like butternut squash. So I like this one. So I add the sweetness with the carrot. Two eggs. And my hubby is making it for me, of course. The eggs that we're making are these happy eggs and they're organic of course we really try to eat as organic as we can in this family these are organic too all that i did was to spray the pan with a um, non-stick spray that is just zero calories if you are interested in calories garlic one thing that i'm doing now that i did not do last week is that this week i'm trying to eat a lot um less carbs when i say carbs i mean like a lot of um bread a lot of refined carbs this week because i'm not cutting out everything so it depends on week by week last week i ate a lot of bread sometimes in a day i'll eat four pieces of bread sometimes i'll eat three pieces of bread because how i've decided to make this i want this to be very very clear to people that are trying this i did not just wake up and lose the weight i did a research um a lot of research and the main thing is that make sure that whatever you are changing you're gonna do it for the rest of your life so that's what i started doing and then i could not leave bread but i told myself that it's going to be weekly decisions this week the decision is going to be eat none bread or less bread as much as i can so usually in the breakfast last week i was eating bread with um almond butter this week i'm deciding to put either sweet potatoes or um whatever we'll do as time goes on also make sure that you're following me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram because i'm going to be showing you how i'm doing there i'm gonna be making stories sharing my experience and all that so if you're not following me on instagram make sure that you're following me on instagram another thing that i'm, I'm doing this week those sweet potatoes i did not make them with oil because i'm counting calories okay <laughs> when i say counting calories i'm making sure that i'm not surpassing 1500 calories a day that's what i'm making sure that i'm not doing so i've been making sweet potatoes with olive oil but one one tablespoon of olive oil is 120 calories so what did i do instead i'm adding non-stick spray on top of my thing and surprisingly it didn't change taste at all so i'm reducing um i'm trying to eat less dense food less caloric how do they call it few calories food i don't know like instead of making them densely caloric 
I'm trying to make them as less caloric. So break, I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I don't eat snacks because I make sure that my meal is a lot for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner that I don't want to snack in between. So as you saw, that is a large sweet potato with a carrot and then with eggs. And I'm gonna show you how it looks. It's gonna taste good. And also, of course, I'm having coffee. And now I'm making coffee. This is just like um, a Nescafe coffee. This is not the addictive coffee because I can stay months without drinking this one. This is the one for people that like the, the smell of coffee sometimes. And I'm not a coffee drinker as far as like coffee that people drink here. So here's my coffee. I'm going to add half cup of um, almond milk. Half cup of almond milk. Uh oh, it's too full. One tablespoon of this maple syrup here. I no, not one tablespoon. One teaspoon of maple syrup. So here's the breakfast. As you see, it's a lot. This is my hand, and it's a lot. Some people that are so extreme, they'll cut this breakfast in half. For me, I definitely want to eat as much as I can because I want to be full so that I don't keep on snacking. Snacking is definitely one of the downfalls for me. So I'm trying by all means to make sure that I don't snack in between meals. So I make sure that I'm very full. I mean, not like very extremely full, but full enough to not eat breakfast. Drizzling some sriracha, of course. Yes, we're eating with mommy. Yeah, even though you ate yours, we're eating mine now. Huh? He eats everything. So we are here on our way to a store that is similar to Sprouts, right? If you don't know what Sprouts is, Sprouts is more on the side of Whole Foods, right? Mm. Like uh, a lot of organic stuff, but this is a local one. What is it called? Nature Grocers. Nature Grocers, something like that, whatever. I'll show you guys. I have to share this one because I feel like it's exactly my favorite store i haven't been there yet but my husband told me like i found a store that looked like sprouts and i'm a fan of sprouts and whole foods and all the kind of those kind of stores and i like the that they have that so let's go ahead i wanted to join me so that you can see this place i hope you like it yeah that's the store we're going to check it out that's my first time ever being in that store this is what they sell oh my goodness i'm in love they have all my favorite kefir all of them like they have the gold they have every kefir that you can think of in the world if you've been watching me for a long time you know my love for kefir and my body is just like oh my goodness i cannot believe this <laughs> look what my husband just found ravers if you watch me long you know my love for this we just got back from the natural grocers. Oh, very, very impressed. I cannot wait to show you what you got. It's something that I really, really love shopping in. And if you're new, I'm on a weight loss journey. <laughs> I know I sing this song every video pretty much, but I just want people to not be shocked because I'm all in and stuff like that. And so I'm someone that when I'm going this route, I also prefer to buy organic stuff 80 to 90 percent of the time because i cannot do organic all the time so it really makes me happy that i know that there's a store i can go to that is similar to whole foods that is similar to sprouts those are my favorite grocery stores to shop at so i'm so happy because costco is like an hour ago so this one is like five minutes ago from where we stay so it's such a very nice thing that you're gonna be able to do so i cannot wait to show you what you got and if you are curious of what i cook how i cook make sure that um you are subscribed or you just check on my i'll make a playlist of my weight loss journey so that people don't be asking themselves like what's up what's up what's up i'm gonna be showing what i eat in a day and all that stuff so make sure that you check those out because your girl here is all in and i'm actually very excited it's um this is gonna be an all once and for all type of thing it's not gonna be a yo-yoing thing of course, by the grace of God. Rooibos and coriander for my beans, turmeric and beet, beetroot, beetroot and ginger. 
and what is this? this is garlic or mushrooms? Mushroom. Or oh, mushroom? And then garlic. Blueberries. I'm actually gonna try this. I've never had this, but I'm curious to see how this tastes. Rice porridge. It's gonna be nice, this one. I think because I've had rice porridge, but not milled like this. And this is one is creamy brown rice and it's all only whole grain rice so we shall see how it goes and then we got the boys these cornflakes um i really like prefer to buy these ones because a lot of corn here is gmo so it's always nice to find this one and this is the brand nature pack organic cornflakes i'm just tossing neo cell and it's just uh kale spinach Romaine lettuce, chicken, apples, bacon bits, and a little bit of cheese. Here's her finished product, and I used, uh, mixed it with uh, olive oil and uh, light dressing. I like it, and she seems to like it a lot as well. Taste test. These guys are eating their own food, and I'm having my own food, my lunch. And let's do this. I like the sprinkle of the Amazon cheese on top. You tell them that you also added some olives to it? No. Mm. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's very nice. The meat to it. Add. Okay. The meat adds a very nice flavor. I mean, just, just look at it, it's like a restaurant made. Made by yours, yours truly, my husband. The boys are having udon with chicken. Soy sauce and teriyaki. They're eating quite a bit. Oh yeah, look at Michael. That was a full plate. How are you doing, Michael? That was a very good salad. So I, I had only salad. I didn't have it with tea or anything. It was just salad and then I had water. And it's filling. And actually right now it's two, right? It's 2 p.m. We came home late. And now I'm making dinner. Dinner's going to be made by me. Um, so this is the beans. They're still boiling. Um, I let them boil for a while, like an hour or two hours, and they'll be ready. I had an option to either buy the one that I canned or to soak them overnight. But I didn't know I was going to make them. So it was something that I just went to the store. And I was like, you know what? Mommy, I just want to have... Mommy, um, mommy, hmm? mommy. Yeah, what letter is that? What 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 oh, sound? Oh no! What happened? Mikey. Mikey played with Mikey. Don't do that with water. That that's that the F. What sound does that F make? Oh yes. yes. For what? Fish. Fish. Mama. Fan. Mama. Hmm? Mama. Mama. Hmm? Sugar. Yeah, don't play with water. Yeah, no play with water. You're so oily. I'm gonna be showing you how what I'm making. I'm making beans, I'm making rice, and I'll show you more stuff that I'm making with that deal. Meal. That's gonna be the meal for dinner. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling full. I'm feeling happy. Hmm? Don't play with water. No, don't play with water. I'm just showing them how I eat in a day. Don't bug my little stuff. Look at this attitude. Seriously. Look at that little attitude. Gonna go to sleep. Oh, you wanna sleep well, mommy? Okay. He's sleeping. Okay. Don't make noise. Shh. Here's your water, Mikey, on the floor. <gasps> you are awake. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Be careful. So why are you so wet? Look, look. It's so hot. It's so hot. Be careful, okay? Mm. Be careful for hands. Yeah, be careful for hands. Mm so cute he's telling you guys be careful be careful of your hands it's hot yes you go down stop across stop across stop letter of the week is f f makes the sound stop 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 yeah F makes the sound. F for fish. 
Just for fun. Good job. Sometimes in the middle of my eating, I get so hungry, and that's when I usually eat fruit. It's summer here right now, here in America, Mommy, and fruits that? are in. I mean, every time we had, but we have banana. Mommy, please you know, please 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 wait. So I don't know what happened to this. Do you know banana? No, please. In a good place, Chuck. Am I the only one that likes it? This no, orange, no, this um, no, dying like. like I don't know. This one. I don't like it green. I don't like it yellow either. I like it yellow with brown. In case you didn't know, bananas are my favorite fruit. I love bananas. I like I love mangoes and I love peaches. But I don't like stuff like oranges. No, no, I like orange. I don't like stuff like apple. You can have apples in the home. They'll rot without me touching them. But bananas, peaches, and um, mangoes, we're sure. Oh, anyways, my beans now are soft. I'm going to show you how I do them. Okay, we're going to need a teeny, teeny bit of um, ginger. I have ginger here. And then I'm going to cut a little, maybe two to three loaves of garlic. And of course, when Nell says two to three, she'll use five times. No, but seriously, this is little, these are beans. So I shouldn't be adding anything crazy because beans I don't need much of the seasoning. You see? Oh, oh that's a lot of ginger actually. This amount is enough that I've already cut, but I've not even done with it. I'm just gonna use one of these um, little clothes. I don't want. I don't want to eat ginger beans. <laughs> They'll turn into ginger now. This here alone is enough. I'm telling you. That much oil. This oil is going. To, I'm going to use it to bloom those garlic and that ginger in the meantime the beans are done the beans are done 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 Good. This is what we're eating for dinner. We had an option to either put rice, since beans are my main thing that I love so much. I wish I had some, but unfortunately, I went to all the stores here. I couldn't find any same. So I'm gonna have to order it on Amazon. But instead, I just made red kidney beans and added a little bit of garlic and those parts that I showed you. And then I added cheese. Another thing that will go well with this meal will be maybe a little bit of sour cream. If we add a little bit of sour cream, it'll be so good. Because this is what people add when they make tacos and stuff. They'll add the beans, they'll add whatever they add, and then they'll add sour cream. This is more like what they'll eat with the other rice. And I added sharp cheddar. It's out of 10. I love beans that I make from scratch. Yes, they take hours. For people that are shocked that you can eat beans. Look at you. Can I talk? Please. Mommy, mommy, hi. Mommy. Okay, can I say hi? Say how are you? Cheese. <laughs> oh, today you're in the mood for the video. Cheese. Okay, that does not like to be in the video much, but I'm surprised that today he wants to say hi. So we well, can have an option of feeding it with the rice. But I felt like would I rather have rice with this or just this because I would rather have this because it has a lot more taste and it's yummy. So I decided to have it with. So it's very filling for sure. It's like an hour after and I'm feeling 
a little bit hungry and i feel like you know what <laughs> i need to have something so my husband um asked me what do you want do you want cookie i said no cookie so instead i'm going to have coffee because i'm about to do a very intense workout i'm going to be having um um coffee with maple syrup the same thing that i had for breakfast as far as coffee but since i'm trying to cut back on like crazy amount of bread and stuff i'm going to have i'll show them to you they're cool with things i'm gonna have a serving of that um together with um coffee so all together my calories are going to add to um, 1300 calories or 1400 calories um someone may say that well that's very low now why are you eating low first let me say that i have tried a 1600 calorie diet and i was gaining weight and if you are new by the way i don't have my legs um an amputee double amputation so which means half of my body is way cut not half of my body i mean not half of my body but i don't have the legs from the knee down so that just shows that i have i don't have a chunk of muscles so i don't do anything as you see i'm in my wheelchair most of the time so i tied the 1600 calorie one so right now i'm trying between 1200 to 1500 but i make sure that i make sure that i don't exceed 1500 and also i don't eat anything less than 1200 so anything between 12 13 14 15 i can do but i don't know if i'm i'm losing yet because I, I decided not to check my weight this week and we'll see what's gonna come this is um 100 whole grains 21 grams whole grain per 31 gram servings so let's go to what is the serving as you see the serving is eight 440 and five grams of sugar and yeah this is how it looks like and here are the ingredients probably not the healthiest thing but it will do the work here's the coffee in here <laughs> i just went back to reading the label it's actually 16 <laughs> You eat 16, it says it's eight settings. So when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> I put, because I wanted more, I put eight more. So if 16 is a lot for, which is One thing that I liked about this kind of a snack that has coffee like this is that it's going to make me full. Not personally the stomach, but the mind. You know when you're hungry and you're my, hungry on the mind, in the mind and on the stomach. But when we have coffee for some reason, it it makes you feel like you have eaten. That's why people that are on a crazy amount of weight loss, they usually have coffee, and it can actually keep them not very hungry for long. So that's the secret. That's why I like to have it with this kind of snacks because I know that since it's night time, it's seven p.m. right now, and I'm about to go and work out. I know that I'm gonna be fine for the rest of the night. So Nao is working out right now. The twins are being read to by Nana. And I'm here with Michael. He's eating the dessert of grapes and a chocolate chip cookie. You liking it, Michael? Oh my goodness. I just finished working out and this is all my sweat. And of course, when I'm with my son, he's gonna be showing everything. Two soaps. Yes, so I just finished working out and it wouldn't be a motivation video without sharing with you guys the last yeah, it's pumpkin, baby. He's gonna ask me every question. I want to kick him out. It was over 45, actually over 50 minutes of workout. It was very, very intense. Like, if you see how wet I am, if you see how wet I am, and today my eating was fine, and I'm starting to get into it. I think this is the, I'm doing better than last week for sure. And I just want to encourage people that if, we are struggling let's take one week at a time or one day at a time or one hour at a time depending on how your situation is like as i said i didn't check my weight i'll check my weight next time i'm trying to check my weight every two weeks so let's see how i've done in the next week log reading and by the way let me clear out a misunderstanding i made a comment on my video the other day um on the video of my husband surprised me with dumbbells that were almost 400. Okay. First, 
exactly those dumbbells are not exactly 400 they are over 300 and me being the nail that is me i rounded them to 400 because my husband said they are over 300 and then i said they are 400 people are petty <laughs> someone said oh your husband said 300 and he said 400 huh hmm because I round, if something is three hundred and eighty dollars, I'm not gonna say it's three hundred. I'm gonna say it's four hundred, just to round it up. Another thing that I want to clear out is um, I made a statement that someone, some people misunderstood me, saying I'm fat shaming people. Firstly, if I'm already big, and I'm shaming people that are big, it doesn't make sense. I was not fat shamed because I mentioned that people that I know in person that truly. Really, got the covid hard or that have passed away most of them that i know in person were overweight and it was something that i really noticed the trend even in the news when i was watching the news i was noticing that if someone died they were either overweight or having a problem so is there healthy people that died definitely because there's an actor in south africa that was in shape lifting weight that actually died but i was just talking about just the the majority of the people, they are usually overweight. And I thought to myself, I need to do something about my weight. Not that because of that, but just noticing that there are people that would have maybe prevent the situation. But I feel like just like trying to live a normal weight or a healthy weight is a good idea for a lot of people. So it wouldn't be me to really like fashion shame anyone. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to take a bubble bath. And I'm sorry, baby. My baby fell. Come here. You got head on the butt. Sorry, but you have to be in. When I'm just talking, you have. Sorry, my love. Sorry. Okay, sorry, baby. I hope this what I eat in a day was helpful to you to give you ideas on what I eat. And I can, if I keep on losing weight, I'll definitely, Lord willing, of course, share my workout routines and show you exactly what I what I do to work out. I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie, um, self conscious to really show how I work out. I feel like I'm going to be laughed at. Um, yes, I know some people are gonna be motivated by it. But at this point, I'm still self-conscious. Let me tell you, even though I share my life as someone that does not have legs, I have limits. I have limits that I'm actually feeling fine to share. And then I have limits to share that, that I'm shy. I'm really very self-conscious. Even though I've shared my life as someone that doesn't have legs, there are, there are mountains I cannot cross. There are rivers that make it hard for me to cross. That's why I cannot show my leg, how my leg looks like. Even though I show the shape of my leg, but I'm shy to show my leg. I cannot share. I'm having a hard time sharing my workouts. Hopefully as time goes on, I'll, I'll delete that um, self-consciousness. Get you I'm talking. I'll delete that self-consciousness and share my workouts. But know that they are very intense enough to make me really, really sweat like crazy. Just know that. And um, a lot of times I lift weights. <laughs> I'm starting to have muscles. <laughs> You're funny. Say bye-bye, guys.